flavor music and a Latin move. Yes. Oh, man. I'm going to tell you what. I talked to the Ball Brothers before I came uh, on the air with you today. And I and the Ball Brothers, I say, you guys got to understand, you know, that y'all got all the tools and you need to really take this opportunity because I guarantee you, Christopher Cruz, maybe we'll see it today and maybe we won't. But Luga and Sting are not getting along. And they might look like it on the outside, but inside there's turmoil in the camp of the world tag team champion right here on the prime but yes. you've, you've got to wonder how long is sting going to take that type of behavior whenever luger whenever stings back is you know this song rick wrote this song rick who yeah rick wallet did he really yes yeah the he, man in charge of audio the the emmy award award winning. Winning. i'm talking about the award winning emmy rick award Wallace. winning emmy award winning yeah yeah he wrote this song no kidding yeah i was there when he did it we were both well i ain't gonna talk what we were doing the man called Sting, the franchise of WCW, teaming up with Lex Luger, his friend, his business partner, and at this point anyway, his trusted associate. Well, I just believe the total package is given a lot of lip service to certain people understanding the situation that I still believe he's a snake in the grass in 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 talking a good game in in being in there but but what did I say a while ago I see the ball brothers I see them both man I caught them right outside the dressing room man because I know them and I can talk Spanish man I say que pasó bio you know what I mean I say let me tell you now brothers I say walks ahead you you know I can talk Spanish I say no, 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 su casa is mi casa, but that's out the window. I say the bottom line is right now on the kneeling wrist of the, of the Pocahontas brother, you got to do this thing today or the Quiotas is going to be on you. And so when I finished that, they understood that I, that I was saying take advantage of, of that situation. You there it is. You can't even I'd have butchered not only the English language, <laughs> but the Latin language. And the Indian language yeah. as well. Wow. Ricky Santana. No, in all seriousness. Yes, seriousness, sir. Seriousness. Yeah, you, well, are, you are right. I mean, the Barrio brothers do realize they have a wonderful opportunity here. That there is some dissension in the ranks of the World Tag Team Champions. And look at Sting. Man, he lit into Santana and then, for good measure, took care of Fidel Sierra. You cannot go in with an offensive game plan right there to let Sting get in a situation to where he outquicks you, out, out fast you, if you will, out moves you, out prime times you, out, out prime cuts you right here. And, and that's what he's done from the get go. See how, see how Sting is relaxed? Not in a hurry. These guys here, confusion already reigning with the Ball Brothers. You know, we have seen uh, already some interesting pairings for the Lethal Lottery. In fact, one of the pairings oh. has the Road Warriors against each other. We're going to see Hawk against Animal in the ring. Possibly we'll see Lex Luger against oh. Sting in the ring. Oh, look at that from Sting. Well, I guarantee you that's coming someday. I mean, Sting... I, I mean, I'm just calling it like I see it and like I feel it. Yeah. And I know them both. I've been in there with both of them. But I, I guarantee you, this man right here, thought about Luga, is only out for one thing, and that is Lex Luger. What what can be good for me is good for me and nobody else. And that's the way he is. With Jimmy Hart snake in the grass, I guess he decided not to come out with the Lex man. Yeah, as long as Sting is around, it seems like Lex doesn't want Jimmy Hart around. But, but oh, no. You had mentioned it. What a great sure. pay-per-view. Wow. We're talking slammery only on pay-per-view. You Battle know, what? you say you've, you've, what? you've murdered the English language, yeah. the Spanish yes, language, I have. the Native American language. Yes. No, For I that didn't. pay-per-view, we're going to be in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yes. You'll be able to murder the French language and the Cajun language. Now, I love all them languages and all them people, and they know that. And, and the Cajun, I love the Cajun food. And I think that's where Rick wrote that song down there when we were down there in Cajun land. We went to a, we were invited, because uh, they knew me at the time, then Rick became real famous. They, they knew me. We were invited to a big, uh, what do you call them, crabs? What is them things down there? Crawfish, crawfish parade. Uh -huh. I, was the, I was the master of ceremonies at the crawfish parade. And the Bob Brothers now dealing on Lex Luger. Luger in a bad situation right now. And that's what need to happen. Remember, I said it at the old slot. Yes, you did. And at the onset, too. Yeah, same thing. That's a... <laughs> oh! Look at that from Fidel Sierra. Man, he goes up and over. And at 300 pounds, that shows you the strength of Lex Luger. He did the right thing, though. Tagged his partner in. Says, Luger's thing are too big and too quick for these guys just to let them get the momentum in their heart. That's what they need to do. Double up, maybe a little clubber. You know, in, in La Latino clubber in. And that ain't it. That's stomping and hitting.
You know, part of the frustration, Dusty, again, in all seriousness, of yes. commentating a wrestling match is trying to communicate to the fans the extraordinary discipline and pain that these wrestlers go through every day. And to exactly. Lex, look at Lex Luger's body yeah. and to know that he's been that way for the past 10 or 12 years, eating a certain way, traveling a certain way, exercising every single day. It's well, an extraordinary accomplishment. Yeah. You can tell in my body I've been eating a certain way, too, the last 10 or 12 years. <laughs> and and uh, I ain't going to stop. And, and I feel good. So so the bottom line is the, the, uh, the body thing, what you said, you made up a good point, but the Bile Brothers have the experience, and they can win this thing if they really apply it, but they ain't doing it right now. Oh, he caught him, stopped him. I got him right in the rib. Yeah, Fidelsi. Oh, and a rake of the back there. D doesn't depend uh, on how many muscles you have in the back. That's still going to hurt you. And Ricky Santana, a seasoned veteran now, realizing Lex Luger may be injured in the back, goes for that. As well as a forearm. And another one to the head. And Luger with one of his own. How explosive this man can be. Six foot five, 269 pounds. The total package oh. sets too early and suffers for it. Yeah, and the Barrow Brothers now turning momentum in their way, keeping him out of way from Sting, keeping him from making the tag, tagging in and out, using quick tags, looking better today, the Barrows, than they have in a long time. And, and, and one of the Barrows right there, Fidel, told me, we play, Michel, he didn't say Michel, I don't remember what the word was, to the competition. And so what, this might be it, the better competition, maybe the better the Barrios are. This is really, if you think about it, that's the culmination of a long trek for the Mario Brothers. They're yeah. shot at the World Tag Team Championships, and they don't want it to slip away. No, and they come in the back door, so you really don't want it to slip away. Oh, and uh -oh. have we got a tag? Yes, we yeah. do. And in comes the explosive stinger. Oh, high back body throw. And he attacks Ricky Santana as well. Now the whip and Santana. He's in the ring. He shouldn't be. Who? Santana. That's true. But neither should Luger. All four men in the ring. They'll, this one is broken down. Yeah, they're punching and hitting and, and, I mean, everything. Look at the referee. What's he going to do? Oh, the turnaround. And Luger and Sting. Oh. They're ready for it. Yeah, they did a dips do. There's teamwork there. Look at Sting with a stinger splash. Yes. He's got Sierra. Yeah, got him hooked up right now, maybe. Yes. Scorpion in the rack at the same time. The World Tag Team Champions. They got him hooked up, call for the bell. And the referee does just that here at Universal Studios in Florida. Lex Luger and Sting, victorious, remaining the World Tag Team Champions. But wow. still, they have to look forward to a series of battles that we call the Lethal Lottery, live and only on pay-per-view. Will it be Sting against Lex Luger in one of those matches we've already seen? It's going to be Hawk against Animal yeah. in one of those matches. Wow. So, fascinating concept is the Lethal yeah. Lottery. Lamborghini. Right around the corner on pay-per-view. Big victory for the World Tag Team Champions. Nothing really actually came out of this thing except another victory for them. The Barrow Brothers had some spots where they looked good. What I mean by that is, you know, they didn't, uh, Luca didn't really deal his hand, I believe. And and, uh, and the Barrow Brothers, after the momentum within their favor, started staggering in a wagon right here. And Luca and Sting then took control of it right here. You see the dipsy dude that turn it around. A little square dance right here back into the corner. Stinger puts the scorpion on Fidel, right? And Luger puts the rack on, on the other guy, Rick, right, Rick Ricky Santana. Santana yeah. And the referee calls it off. And the bottom line, the World Tag Team Champions victorious on the prime. But as Dusty pointed out, there is dissension within the ranks of the World Tag Team Champions. Can Sting trust Lex Luger? The consensus opinion is... Flat out, no, and we'll see as the weeks progress. We're back in a moment on the Prime.